Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to focus on how to learn write and one-liner if statement which are also known as ternary operators and to help you to understand that we are going to write once again a fictitious program that determines the salutation with which let's say a lady must be addressed depending on whether she's married or not this is fictitious just for the purpose of learning okay so no hard feelings about that okay so i'm going to have a variable say it's married is equal to true okay and then i want to create your salutation because usually if a lady is not married in the english culture they usually refer to them as miss and then if you're married you become a missus okay so um i will say salutation is equal to then see what happens here i'll say missus if is married else miss okay and then i will print a greeting to you so let's say your full name is linda Hasford. So I will say print. Um, then I will do F strings. I'll bring your, I'll say hello. And then I'll bring your salutation. And then we have your full name here. Okay. So in this program, because it's married is equal to true, salutation is going to be misses. Remember that over here, we are not using the colon to delimit any block or scope because like I said, this is to help us to know how to write one liner if statement. So if your if statement is such that you just want to assign something to another variable, depending on the value in another variable or depending on some condition, then you use this um, technique called ternary operator. So you said salutation is, you see, this reads like English. Salutation is Mrs. if is married, else miss. This reads so much like normal English. And so you shouldn't struggle to understand it. But if you are, take the time to think about it very well and you'll see what I mean. So the conditional check is in the middle. However, the value to be set when the condition is true comes before and there's the else which also brings the value to be set when the condition is false. So salutation is equal to misses if it's married else miss. Now let's run this program and let's see what we get. So this is in a file called ternary operators. So I will say Python three ternary and you see it says, hello, Mrs. Linda Hasford. The reason is because the is married variable is set to true. If I come here and I set it to false, you will see that when I run this, she will be addressed as Miss Linda Hasford, all because of how the one liner if statement works or the ternary operator works. So thank you very much for watching this. Let's take a quick pause. And I'll see you in the next video where we talk about the logical operators that are going to help us to create compound conditionals in our if statement. So I will see you soon.